And as Tony mentioned, today's weather leaving behind a major mess in some areas. And drivers dealing with a lot of water on local roads, slowing down travel and even stranding drivers in some communities. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado continues our Pinpoint Weather 12 team coverage now from one of today's hardest hit areas. Steph? Well, what a difference a couple of hours makes here. We're on Ferris Avenue in East Providence, which is passable and clear now after being flooded earlier today. You know, these storm drains and pipes just weren't able to handle the rate of rainfall we had today. When this was flooded, a couple of cars even got stuck on this street before police came and blocked it off. Now, let's show you some video of what it looked like when we got here this afternoon. Around 2 o'clock, the water quickly rose between 6 inches and a foot deep. We saw a school bus slowly making its way through high waters, and we spoke to a neighbor, Cristobal Rodriguez. His truck was actually in the floodwaters in front of his house, fortunately high enough off the ground that he was able to move it without the truck getting flooded. He tells us this does happen here pretty often. Whenever I hear there's going to be rain, I come around with my trusty rake and I clean the drains, but it doesn't help that much. You know, it's the problem is much bigger than that. And we spoke to the DPW here in East Providence about why this happened and where it happened in other parts of the city as that torrential rain just came pouring down this afternoon. We'll have that and the impacts of the weather from all over the state coming up new at 6. Live in East Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tony. Well, we've been getting reports of flooded roads around southern New England this afternoon. The Narragansett EMA tweeted out this photo this afternoon of a flooded street near the town pier. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado continues our weather team coverage live from the mobile newsroom with a look at some of the other flooding issues. Uh, Steph? I'm on Ferris Avenue, which is clear and passable now here in East Providence, but earlier today was just covered in water. The water struggling to drain here on this street as the rain just came down too hard and too fast, leaving spots like this underwater all over the state. Fast moving downpours coming through Rhode Island, the remnants of Florence. Visibility difficult on the roadways, flash flooding on streets like this one in North Smithfield and on Ferris Avenue in East Providence. The, the worst that I've seen. That's where we met Cristobal Rodriguez trying to rake out the storm drains as the waters rose around his truck. Whenever I hear there's going to be rain, I come around with my trusty rake and I clean the drains, but it doesn't help that much, you know. It's the problem much bigger than that. Rodriguez says he lost a smaller car to a previous flood. He's lived here for 15 years. At least 30 times in different degrees. Sometimes it's not as much. Today is pretty, you know, pretty high. This happens on occasion with these very heavy uh, torrential downpours. Highway Park Superintendent Rob Walker tells us a few spots in the city flooded Tuesday. You know, the pipes aren't able to handle the volume that comes down when it comes down this quickly. The solution, usually a waiting game for the water to drain. It looks like, like the beach. It looks like I have waterfront property. <laughs> <laughs> Now the water did drain pretty quickly here in about an hour once those torrential rains stopped. There were a few cars that got stuck in the waters here before police eventually blocked off the street. Live in East Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. 